taste it. Are my taste buds okay? That's what it looks like on the inside. Oh god, that tastes like an actual rose. That one kind of tastes like toasted bread. Hello, 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 and welcome back. Today, we are doing something super, super, super fun. Um, we're gonna try some more food. So, we've done a video like this before where I tried Japanese food from Christmas. It came out in January, so if you wanna check that out, um, it's on the channel. <laughs> but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new, you can subscribe and click the bell. That way, every single time we post a new video, you will get notified. We post on Tuesdays and Fridays, and every other Sunday on Patreon, there is a podcast with Vanessa and I called Kavala times too and you can um pledge a tier four for that and any of the other tiers for extra content if you would like to we were running errands in virginia and we decided to go to this cute little store that we've been to before a couple years back it's called tuleju and it's a shop that they actually have in south korea the translation apparently means every day and it's a cute little bakery it's a french slash korean bakery i believe so we decided to pick some stuff up here's the pretty little bag we got quite a few stuff a few things also the worker there was so kind we um they gave us an extra little macaroon we ordered six and they gave us seven which is very kind um so we have a lot of pastries and stuff that we've never tried before that we're going to try today um so i'm gonna show you everything first and then we'll try them these are just like like bread buns there's a lot of bread milk bread rolls. Milk, milk bread rolls there are a lot of bread things here because one we like bread and two there was just a lot of bread options so there's also this it's a, like a tart thing but not a type of tart that has to be kept in the I think it's a sweet cream bread with like fruits it's a sweet cream bread with like fruits it has um i believe that's whipped cream in the middle and then strawberry and uh blueberries with like this like bread thing around it we also have this thing this is this is not something that's so wanted i, I realized it had raisins in it and now i regret this deeply with cheese yeah isn't that weird i think it's raisins I think it's burnt pieces of cheese that'd be great okay so this is some like cheese type of bread thing I don't that, that we don't exactly remember the name but this is what it is there's that we also got a six pack of macaroons now we've tried macaroons from this place before because we've been here once before like two or three years back and also we've tried macaroons before because when i was 12 i had an obsession and we literally drove to three different states to go find it um two two technically we're already in uh, ours isn't a state <laughs> it's a province <laughs> <laughs> it's an area here's a pretty box that it comes in with like the little macaroons on them you actually got to hand pick the macaroons obviously they pulled them out of the container for you because you can't touch that stuff but we got to hand pick those so i'll tell you the flavors and stuff too so then we also got this, which doesn't have the name on it. I believe it's some sort of like milk bread thing. There's also this, we also got this. Um, and it kind of looks like a like thick pancake. So I'm excited to try this out. Oh, that's a blueberry cream cheese bread. This is the milk roll. This is the main reason we went there. I have been um, dying to try like a milk bread sort of thing, mainly because of Toru Aikawa. So we decided to get this. This is why we decided to go there after we went to the Korean um, restaurant that we ate at today. This is the melon bread. So this is the melon bread that we're also trying today. It's very like bloop kind of thing so and then there's this little tiny thing that caught my eye because it reminds me of mochi at this bakery it, they're not it's not called mochi i believe it's called something different is it a sweet um, rice cake i this is a sweet rice cake there's everything that we got if you want to screenshot that and check those things out let's start with the macaroons we've tried the macaroons before um i mainly just want to show you how pretty they are i love macaroons because they remind me of a very small crabby patty like you know those pretty patties yeah they gave us double of a flavor that we both already had so we yeah ate those so we decided to eat those so they, these are different flavors i remember these ones so this one is a little bit broken but that's okay oh, i still picked it anyway so this is it's very pink it's like a light pink and then it fades into like a like a light purple kind of thing on camera for some reason it looks more like pan yeah it's like pink and this is a flavor rose so i've actually had rose before then there's this one which is like a pretty lavender color and it has these little things on them i'm not exactly sure what lavender they are pieces lavender pieces and this is the blueberry flavor i, I dropped it this is the blueberry flavor this one is my favorite i don't know why it's pistachio i'm not even a huge like i like pistachios but it's green and it tastes good i don't know why lavender lavender am i okay 
I don't know why pistachio is my favorite. I'm not a huge pistachio like fanatic, but I, for, for, to me, I just really like it. This one is lemon. It's yellow and it has a little custard in or well, it's not like custard, it's like filling. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Um, but it's, this one's yellow. And then this one we got, we haven't tried this one, it's coconut. It's white and then it has little like coconut flakes on it and then the filling on the inside. Looks pretty. I'll, let's try pistachio first because I know you like this one. <laughs> I love pistachio. You want to split it in half? Uh, you, no, you can bite first and then I'll just bite after you. And then the next one we're going to have is the blueberry. This is a blueberry lavender one. This one is Vanessa's favorite. Well, the the lavender this one's very lavendery this time. Normally, it's more blueberryish. Let me try first. first. This one has a lot of lavender today. It's normally not this not this much lavender. Oh, it tastes like lavender essential oil. Mm -hmm. I normally mean, doesn't taste mm -hmm. this time. You got that one. It's mm -hmm. normally more blueberryish. Today mm -hmm. it's not so not not my favorite today. Yeah. But normally it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna eat the lemon one. This is the little yellow one. This one doesn't have a, a, a lot of filling, but... Mmm, look at that on the inside. Very, very yellow. I like lemon, though. It's a little mm -hmm. tangy. These are better, kind of, like, cooled. We didn't leave them mm -hmm. in the fridge. But there's, like, a lemon square. Yeah. Do you want the rest? You got it. Oh, that, those are really good. Which ones do you want to try next? Coconut or rose? Mm, let's try rose. Okay. They have a lot that have, like, flower flavors. Yeah, a lot of flowery flavors. Oh god, that tastes like an actual rose. That's what it looks like on the inside. It tastes like if you ate a rose petal. Like it genuinely tastes like Anna. This is for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't I want don't it. Like this one. That <laughs> is rosy. Yeah. My god. If you have to take mom to the shop. She'd probably love it. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one we're going to try is coconut. It looks like that. I don't taste like coconut. <laughs> I am a big macaroon person. I love them. I'm gonna kind of taste like toasted bread. Mmm. Oh, like like bread with butter. Mm. Besides pistachio, mm -hmm. uh, maybe coconut. No, lemon. Lemon was my favorite. Lemon. Normally, the blueberry one is like my favorite, and the one we had last time that was blueberry was really good. But this time, it had so much lavender, and yeah. I don't like the smell of lavender. I don't like the taste. Yeah. So I'd have to go with the lemon too. Which one? I don't know. Whichever one. Just pick. Okay, we're gonna try this tart kind of looking thing next. This is something. We weren't like, we'd like we're in the store. Cause like we weren't planning to go to the store to do a video, we were mm -hmm. in the store already, and I was like, oh my gosh, you should do a video next. So we forgot to look up the names and like keep track of it. Yeah, because it wasn't it again. Yeah, it wasn't like a an intentional like we weren't going there intentionally to. I'm gonna cut this open right down the middle. <laughs> what do you say? Right down the middle. All right, I split it right in half so that Ness and I get the exact Ooh. same. Wow. Oh my god, so it's a blueberry cream. So it, I didn't know this. It has blueberry it has blueberry cream on the inside. So it has the cream cheese is the same as this and as this one, but without the fruits on top. Yeah. So it's like it has this. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it has strawberries and stuff. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Okay, ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. I don't really taste much. It doesn't really have my taste buds going, you know what I mean? Good because the other ones are so over, like overpowering on top. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I think it's great. A big thing with this one too that I realized when I was posting the video, uh, like a video on TikTok, is that when you don't have the things on top, like Ness said, and you can like taste the like blueberry cream cheese kind of more, but it's not like a very like like the the fresh fruits really overpower it. Without the actual stuff on top, you can really taste the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. You want to try the other one so you can taste what it tastes like without the. Okay. We're gonna open this one. This is the the thing that we just had without the stuff on top. So this is the what is it called? The blueberry, blueberry cream, cream cheese, cheese bread. Bl blueberry cream cheese bread. This is what it looks like on the inside. Ta -da! That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. It tastes like a blueberry, yeah. Or like a bagel. Or like a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. Mm hmm. This is this bread's green on the inside. I've seen her Atlas try it. I'm a humongous her Atlas fan. Um, I'm absolutely. I love traveling, but I'm scared of traveling. So I love traveling vicariously through other people. So, this is melon bread. It's very crumbly and hard. I hate melons. Me too. Oh, it's green. Yeah, it's green on the inside. It's like a Oh, it smells good. It does smell fresh. Okay, ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. It doesn't really taste like a melon. It kind of just tastes like bread. I don't like it. Really? It, it has like, it still has that melon flavor. 
and I hate melon flavor. I don't taste it. Are my taste buds okay? It's like an undertone of melon. Like I don't right. think my taste buds are advanced like everyone else. Like when we're drinking wine, <clears throat> we'll be like, oh, it's a dry wine with like bell peppers. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one we're gonna try next. Uh, not exactly sure what's in this, so we're gonna figure it out when we open it. Duh. Oh, there's stuff inside. Interesting. It's custard. It's like a pastiche You don't like it? I don't like pastiche enough. Oh. I like it. I don't like custard. For anyone who has ever had a pastiche natta, it's a Portuguese dish. If you ever had it, the inside kind of tastes like that. And that's like a custard on the inside, I believe, with like wrapped around bread. I think it's great. Mom would love this. I'm not excited for this one at all. I, really, I didn't realize it had raisins in it, and now I'm highly disappointed. You're lucky. You can't eat it. It's got meat in it. It's a sandwich. Well. That's a sandwich that we can't eat because it has meat in it. We're going to try this for rice cake. <laughs> it's red bean paste on the inside. Oh, God. I've never had red bean paste. It's I do love it. I've had before. I personally don't like the texture of that one. It's not really the taste that sends me. It's more of like the texture because it reminds me of like... It's red beans, so it's a bean, and it reminds me of beans. When I eat munchy, I don't want fajangs in it, so that's why. <laughs> so the second to last thing. These are the bread rolls. I love bread. Here's the roll. Great. It shines like the light from the stars, I swear to God. You ready? Uh-huh. Mm. This is what it looks like. That's so good. That's really good. Mom's gonna like these a lot. This is very, this is a very strange, like, feeling. This is what it looks like. Shadow stepped on it, so it's a little squished. Uh. Yeah. Stuff might leak out, be careful. Are you ready? I'm scared. Me too. Is it milk? I think it's sweet cream. Ready? Tastes like a donut. I actually don't like this one. Mm. Oh, I like sweet cream. It's alright. It's not awful. I like the bread more than anything else. Mm. Oh, I don't like that sweet cream. Oh, car? Yeah, I don't like the stuff in the middle. I like the cream, though. <clears throat> no sweet the bread, cream? I mean. Mm -hmm. The sweet cream kind of tastes like um, a McDonald's uh, vanilla ice cream. But like a really intense and compact mm. and finished bite. The bread, though, the milk bread is absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I really like, like the melon bread, too. I wasn't unsurprised because I don't like melon in real life. Very like two. Um, so probably out of everything, my favorite things were these for sure, and then the lemon macaroons. I really liked those. What else did you, What else did we like? Oh, that cream cheese bread thing. Oh, it was probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. Which ones did you like a lot? Top three. The cream, the blueberry cream cheese. And I had that thing before, though, so I knew I liked it. The lemon macaroon, and then the this bread. These rolls are a winner. So they're all very good. They all have very different tastes. I will say though, all of them don't have very, like it's not like a very strong overpowering. Besides that, besides the flower flavored uh, macaroons, those were Yeah, intense. those are very strongly flavored. They're more like cozy flavors mm -hmm. rather than like, you know, Boom! Like, yeah, you know, like that. It's definitely very good. The restaurant is called Talaus. Nestle Talaus. <laughs> Nestle. It's called, what I said at the beginning of the video. Say it again. It's called Tu Le Jus. Say it again. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new, you can subscribe and click the bell. That way, every single time I post a new video, you will get notified. We post on Tuesdays and Fridays and every other Sunday on Patreon. There is a podcast with Vanessa and I. We stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, so be sure to check that out. If you like videos like this where we try foods and stuff, then be sure to give this a thumbs up and comment down below what types of food you'd like us to try next. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you endlessly. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.